It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buccaneers and the G-Men. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. It can hold over 82,000 fans, and every one of those seats is filled for this one. As our coverage of the NFL brings us to MetLife Stadium. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott, and Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Well, yeah, just about everything, Kate, but these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Tune in and watch. Here's Graham Gano out for the opening kick. And we're off for MetLife. Tucker now on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field, you just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. For Baker Mayfield, scrappy, tough, a will to win. I'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role. Not surprised at all to see him flourish. The dude is mentally tough, he's mentally strong, and he typically makes the most of his opportunities. Mayfield comes out throwing. And his first pass falls incomplete. Just like that, you suffocate a pocket because there's nowhere for the quarterback to go. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. So out come the Giants. Their first drive of the game coming up. They're brought out by somebody who got a whole lot of attention for a stretch last year as a rookie, especially in Jersey, Tommy DeVito. And even if he's still pretty early in his career, we know he is perfectly comfortable and settled into this spot as the be-all, end-all for this offense. Every time you take the field as a quarterback, you know you're gaining experience. You're getting more comfortable in the role. And as he goes forward, he tries to learn and take something away from each and every one of these moments. They go play action on first. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now here he goes. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. From the gun, it's Tracy. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Football on that 47 yard line, first down. They're throwing it. 
gets this to Slayton. And he takes it past midfield and starts to drive into Buccaneers territory. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Now he'll throw off the play fake. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Shotgun snap, a gift to Tracy. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks. You can keep on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. First and 10 from the 41. They go right back to Tracy. And he's brought down for a loss. That's why you often see some mix, some high percentage pass plays on first and 10. You got to keep the defense honest. They're always looking for a run in that situation, a chance to stack them up for second and long. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Here's Tracy once more. He gets it forward for a gain of three. That stop made by K.J. Britt. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Here's a throw. Pocket isn't moving. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Terrific zone coverage. Wallpaper sideline to sideline. QB's got two options. Wait for a hole to open or tuck it to run. He chose the former, but the pass rush showed up before any throwing lane did. The Giants ready to punt. And they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. And they haven't gotten their legs under them on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. A field now from the gun. Completes this one to Otten. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Baker now off to play fake. He's got him. That's McMillan. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the gun, a run for White. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Here's White again. And he's going to run this down to the 36-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Again, 
This is White. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Good defense tackles in this league, Kate. They can take up a couple blockers. Great defensive tackles. Well, they stuffed the stat sheet just like that, knocking that run backwards before it could get started. Chance to the chains here on third and four. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Catch is made down the right sideline. And in, touchdown Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers go up 6-0 here in the first. Well, Brock, that proved a little too tough to stick to. Turns out it was the right route to get a touchdown on that play. Yeah, those corner routes can be some high risk at times, but big time rewards. Think about this for a second, Kate. We talk all the time about the efficiency of a slant route yep. and in breaking, that angle breaking in. Mm -hmm. By higher completion rate, you're throwing something breaking in. You have a corner that breaks out. Obviously, the efficiency may not be there, but boy, touchdowns and big touchdowns can follow when the two stay connected. Laughlin's extra point is up and good. And the Buccaneers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Laughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the 7. He stopped on the return of the 27. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at the New York offense. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. They're out and set, first and ten. They go play action here. Pocket isn't holding up, they're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. You're gonna go play action, Kate. You've gotta sell, sell, sell. If you don't convince that defense you're running it, or if it's a situation where you never run the ball, you really do leave your quarterback dead in the water, vulnerable against the defense. You will storm right past that fake and right into that pocket. Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the sack. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. No connection on the last play, and out third down. He'll throw it. Jump off caught by his back. And they're able to touch him down, so that's going to bring up fourth down. Whether they meant to go to him or was an adjustment on the fly, that's not the read that was going to beat this defense for a first down. That look, well, this crew defensively was prepared for and knew how to keep it short of the marker. The Giants are set to punt. Trey Palmer on the return for the Buccaneers. And he puts together a nice little return there before they're able to bring him down. Nice 12-yard pickup on the return. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. They're set up at the 35 now. First down, here's Baker. Complete to his man, Sterling Shepard. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like the 40-yard line. 
Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Running on second with White. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. Has him on the quick hitter. And another small four-yard chunk there. Brought to a halt by Deontay Banks. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, White. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he gets this all the way to the 31-yard line. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. No thrills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. He got first down from the 31. From the gun, Mayfield. That pass complete to McMillan. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Play fake. It's Mayfield. And the Giants are two blocks. They take it down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Up the middle, here goes White. And he'll get down to the 21-yard line before he stopped. Even after that gain of nine, Brock, they're still stuck behind the sticks. It's 30-13. Here's Baker. Chase McLaughlin now to try the Buccaneers field goal. It's a 38-yarder from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. We'll get back to East Rutherford after this. McLaughlin has it on the tee, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. Coverage 
team gets him down to the 26-yard line. And here come the Giants, ready to take over again on offense. They now trail by double digits after that last score, Bronk. It's 10-0 partway through here. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Back now, pressure on its way. Has his man, it's Tracy. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. At that down the distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Pass play coming here. It will hit Robinson, complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three now. Staying between the tackles with Tracy. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Battle coming up on third and inches. A give to Tracy up the middle. And he's officially in the enemy territory. Two yards on the pickup, and the Giants will have a first down. So often, one of the things you have to teach running backs at the NFL level, you don't always have to hit a home run, especially in short yardage situations. Just go get that single and move the chains. was the perfect one to break for big yards. The only thing that saved the defense from a score was getting that contact to slow him down and eventually, finally, stop him. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. From the red zone now. The throw is caught. And he's going to tackle, but still all the way down to the six. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. Now it's a bootleg for him. You know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey, the position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Graham Gano to tack on the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Giants cut it to a field goal game. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Tucker now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Buccaneers and Rashad White ready to take over once again. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. No 
get this drive started. First and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. Bobby Okereke making that stop. Second and six coming up here. First down yardage. You know, they say you never go broke taking a profit. Just find that completion. And it may not be a Benjamin, but even those little dollar bills start to add up. You set it down for him at the 38. They send a tight end in motion. First and 10, it's Mayfield. Sir. Play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Pete, speaking from experience here, what happens now with the third sack allowed, especially in an early down like that, is that head coach and coordinator going to have a conversation? Okay, we got to fix this. Do we slide? Do we chip? Do we keep more people in? Because the one thing you can't do is keep getting your quarterback hit. All right, here we go. Second down. The give now to White. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Mayfield set to pass. That's brought in by White. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. You know, I don't mind the scheme. In fact, I like the call. Just not on that third down in particular. You need to get it closer to the sticks to have a chance to move those chains. Trenton Gill on the punt. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it. That one headed for the sideline. And he sets them back to begin this drive. That kick goes out, and I call it about the 12-yard line. The Giants and Tommy DeVito all set to take over. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. A handoff to Tracy. Stops him after a solid game. A nice six yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you got. From the 18 on second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. They'll try and throw it here. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's in the first. This is Tracy. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Dropping back to throw. 
He's going to try to drop it in deep right. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Clean breakup on that throw. So now it's going to be third and long. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Here he is on third and long. On the move, headed right. Oh, he's going to run for it. He slides down with enough to pick up that first. It's a gain of 22. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Throwing from the gun here. Escapes the pocket. Gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. Second and six coming up here. Tight end going in motion here. He finds Slayton. And they bring him down around the 34. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Again, right side to Tracy. On the move into the red zone. They were obviously more concerned with a pass that wasn't coming. Great decision to hand it off and an even better running to gallop all the way to the end zone. Well, that's the way it's supposed to look, right from the playbook, right? That's why you run an RPO. That defense can't be right. You're playing pass? Well, I'll hand it off and my running back can do the damage. Gano for the PAT. The point after splits the upright. And the Giants take a four-point lead. Tucker now on the return. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Here come the Bucks on offense now. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Traffic. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. 
That's good for seven yards. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. The Buccaneers at a deficit. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. And first down pass, set away by a defender, incomplete. The offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. It just couldn't quite find the connection. Throwing again is Baker. Short pass brought in. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Mayfield to throw again. And this one is knocked away, incomplete. And that one vehemently swatted away. So second down coming up. Baker throwing again. Completes this one to Otten. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. So now here's third and five. Baker now from the gun. bring him down but that is a big gain and a new set of downs it's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down well you don't normally get that type of outcome on a slant you're just looking for a little short yard gain to find the right type of athlete with space to work before and a perfectly placed ball after the catch that's a perfect play to break a bid working inside the red zone Normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Baker now. It's into the hands of Wright. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards. And the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal game. Five men in the secondary for the G-men now, ahead of third down. From the gun, Mayfield. The Giants using their first timeout. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. shorter attempt and that cuts the lead back down to a lone point anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six you only come away with three points not what you're looking for on the call sheet
Things trim back down to a single point prop as they send this off and away. Has this at the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Giants and Tyrone Tracy are running back on now. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll come out throwing. That's incomplete, trying to set up the screen there. Looking for the back that time. So that brings up second down. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. The Buccaneers add another DB. Third down coming up. Looking to the air here. Has his man, it's Tracy. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. Now the offense going to take its third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. It's what these quarterbacks are having to do more often now than ever before in football. Show off a little mobility. Get outside the pocket and find that open man. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They'll throw it again. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Still sticking with the passing game. Gold star on the grade sheet for that defensive coverage, even with plenty of time to throw it. That defense never gave the QB a lane to complete it. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. Jamie Gillen on now to punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. That's going to bring us to the end of this first half of football with the Giants holding things down in East Rutherford. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could have hoped for with both these teams in it to win it. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. His return makes it up to the 25. 
The Giants and this running back headed back out for a new series. They're out and set, first and ten. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He's going to push one deep down, big game down. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find paper. Gano for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Giants grow their lead to eight. some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Kick the running back in motion. Taking a deep shot here. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. They doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your full mark. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction. But how well the defense had that one covered. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing Baker. Buys time, rolling right. Now he takes it. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. This is one of those occasions that it looks so promising when you take off as a quarterback, and then you're reminded just how fast these defenses are in the NFL. Couldn't quite move the chains, but it wasn't for lack of trying. And the Giants go in nickel, third down coming. Here's Baker. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of the defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth down instead. No return on that punt. And it'll be Giants football. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Thank you. 
From the gun, it's Tracy. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 23. That's him on the quick hitter. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Giants will have a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Back to pass on first and 10. He's got Bellinger. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. 16 yards on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. They send a receiver in motion right. Going right side, Robinson with it. Nice cut, head to the sideline. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And the Giants will have a first down. Didn't take a rocket scientist to know, Kate. They wanted to get the ball in this guy's hands any way they could, not just in the passing game, and he just showed you why. This defense not prepared for his impact on the ground. First down, and they go right back to it. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. A bit jumpy across the way there, and that halves the distance ahead of him on first down. Running it after the penalty. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Nothing on first and five. That brings up second down. He's dropping back to throw. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And it'll be third and five coming up. Second and three now. Design bootleg here. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're gonna miss. You just gotta shake it off and keep shooting away. 
On fourth down, we'll see Graham Gano lead the Giants field goal unit out. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's now a two-possession game as the lead grows to 11. I know, you always want to finish drives in the end zone, but no matter what, the important thing is they end in some kind of points. And that's mission accomplished there. Tucker now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Buccaneers returning their offense and this running back to the field. Just a few yards on that game. Jason Pinnock there on the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Play fake. It's Mayfield. tomorrow this offensive line can't protect this offensive line this offensive line but it's more than that when you give up five sacks in a game it's a complete breakdown of everybody offensively play call quarterback offensive line and yeah, they're going to have to regroup and figure out how to protect this quarterback first and foremost he's trying in some serious trouble it's third and 12. they field now from the gun Complete beyond the marker. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Motion in one of the tight ends. First and ten. It's a gift to White. And he gets a few on the punch forward. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Motion the tight end over. Baker now off to play fake. He's got him. That's McMillan. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Pressure coming, Baker. Got his target, it's Abu. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Nice spot here for the offense, it's second and one. Play fake. Here's Mayfield. That one falls to the turf. Don't hang on. It's incomplete. I love the thought there and the idea. Get your guy in space. But he can't make anything happen until he catches it cleanly first. 
No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. It's White on the give. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, once we saw them on the collision course with one another, we know how inertia works. The bigger man, he wins. Listen, all he could do is make the kicks he's called out there to make. They need extra points from him, but for now, if he's able to handle his third field goal of the game and just inch them a little bit closer. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. He'll look to throw. This is complete to neighbors. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Head up, first and ten from the 42. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. And he goes out, just needed one more step there to reach midfield. Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. He had to balance, focus in on the catch, keeping those feet in balance. Second and three now. defender arrived at the exact same time there and now they'll face a third and three shotgun snap a gift to Tracy and he's down looks like they made the stop at the 46 yard line Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. Go ahead. Find me an offense that won't take that type of efficiency on every snap. Listen, it was good execution, a quality gain, and it moved the sticks. Throwing from the gun here. He's got him. That's Tracy. Don't think he's going to get much, if any, as he heads out of bounds right near the line. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. This is Tracy. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Devontae David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five. Robinson in motion right. 
third down from the gun. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Levante Tavis. And the Buccaneers return the interception almost to midfield before the tackle's made. The best defenses, you can go and look at it through the decades, are built from the inside out. And that's not just stopping the run on the inside out. That's playing your coverage from the inside out. That time, beautiful job by the defense of taking away the middle of the field, getting that interception, and setting their offense up for success. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. And they settled for a field goal on their last series, so points are a positive, but they'll look to upgrade to a touchdown here. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and 10. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. The man Palmer has it. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Ooh, this is going to be a false start on the offense here. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and well, they got one of them to move that time. From the gun, Mayfield. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Successful, and they have third down here. They motion a receiver left. Third down. Here's Mayfield. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So they're left facing a fourth down. Tampa Bay in punt formation now. Trenton Gill, the one to kick it away. And it can't hurt you with the return if you just kick it out of bounds, right? This one flies out right around the 15-yard line. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. They're out and set, first and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. This is ahead for about five. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. But one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Staying between the tackles with Tracy. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's the Giants with the ball trying to close out what would currently be a win. A less than ideal third and eight here. Throwing from the gun. Brought in along the sideline. Just need an official roll in. And they say catch. Great play. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That's a pro's pro right there. That is one heck of an experienced catch. He made sure to secure the ball, but he also knew exactly where the sideline was. Todd Bowles did not like what he saw, and he's thrown the challenge flag. 
So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. So the challenge ends up successful. He, in fact, did not get both feet in. This is incomplete. They'll bring out the punter here. And he's going to have to hit this one from the edge of his own end zone. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And the fair catch brought in right at the 40. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Baker now from the gun. to get a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down, here's Baker. Has him on the quick hitter. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Tight end in motion now. Out of the gun, White. And he's brought down for a loss. You can keep your job at the NFL as a D-tackle if you eat up space. You really can. But you make that bad when you can defeat blocks, penetrate, and create runs for losses as a defensive tackle. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Palmer coming in motion left. Here's second and 11. This ball's cut by Palmer. And that will not be enough for a first down. Third and four coming up now. with you. Seeing that in real time, I don't know if they got enough. But credit that first to a tremendous effort, and secondly, to know exactly what he needed to go get that extra yard. It's 
Still on the move. Come to the line for first and ten. Here's Baker. It's into the hands of White. Just a couple of yards here as he heads for the sideline. It's sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back that not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to catch it. That's now multiple times they've looked his way, and multiple times he's delivered. Eight yards to go. Let's we'll see how they approach this second down. From the 24. He'll get this complete to White. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. It's almost like the defense was in the offensive huddle before the play. They dialed up the perfect blitz to encircle and cut off that run. And the reward is they get off the field. The Giants about to get to work on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. So they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. He's going to throw this one. Pass cut by Tracy. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but across the line there, that earns the holding penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. And they bring him down up at the 12-yard line. Couple yards there on second down, and now a long ways to go on third. Now looking to throw. The screen pass falls incomplete. This one intended for the running back. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Now comes their punter. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Fair catch called for and taken just beyond midfield. So no return on that punt. And it'll be their football. Starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. They'll 
put one of the tight ends in motion. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he has enough room to gain about four. Second and six coming up here. Man in motion here. Mayfield now from the gun. That's brought in by right. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. You just got to love that angle, right? It's been around a long time, but think about it defensively, Kate. How many times do you see the backs out of the backfield or just run to the flat? The great running backs know how to plant their foot, sell that flat route, break it off to an angle, and break off the first down. They're set up at the 35 now. On the ground, it's right. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, Range. Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -uh, it's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They send a tight end in motion. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Able to hit Palmer. Complete. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Third and short, Mayfield. Finds his man over the middle. And he'll get it down to the 24 yard line. They'll see he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. So after some careful consideration, they're going to go ahead and decline the penalty. and 10, it's Mayfield. That won't be caught out right. It's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And it sets up second down. Just seems like Kate 
constantly. They are a step ahead of whatever this offense is trained to do to protect this quarterback. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from New York. Buccaneers trail by eight. Fourth and 14. Let's see if they've got some magic in them. Unfortunately, with the lack of execution, you're going to throw that one off the playlist. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. A handoff to Tracy. And he's brought down for a long no surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Offense to the line for second down. Here's Tracy once more. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. Tampa spends its second time out now. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. They go right back to Trick. He loses the football. And the Buccaneers scoop it up. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So that was holding on the offense, and a quick declination from the defense means this stands as a turnover. and do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They need the end zone here. They've got four chances at it. This is first and goal. White! This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that 
that you see Dick Buckets, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary, these middle linebackers stuffing a run. This guy in particular, like the greats used to do. Buccaneers hustling to the line. They're in the hurry up. Now the throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown on the final minutes. And a two-point play could force overtime. He hung in there as long as he could. A lot of quarterbacks would have bailed out. And it was, it was what you talk about, Brock, that courage that kept the chant for the touchdown alive. Yeah, that touchdown's going to show up on his stat sheet making the catch or the quarterback stat sheet for making the throw. But... Hey, can we put some touchdowns up there for the big boys up front? It was their blocking and buying of time for that play that led to the score. Big moment coming up here for the Buccaneers. They're going for two. Setting up to pass. And they can't connect that time. And after the touchdown, unfortunately, can't finish off the two they needed to tie this game and force overtime. Down inside, 30 seconds now. Their hopes resting on finding a way to get this football. And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Into the victory formation they go, Brock, here on first down. With the win in hands, they'll take the knee, let this clock run out. That timeout taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. The Giants taking it here, running out the final seconds to their victory. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Now for one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it.